All right, buckle up, because something wild just rolled out of NVIDIA's GTC 2025, which wrapped up on March 21st in San Jose, California. Imagine a little blue droid named Blue. Think R2-D2's cuter, shinier cousin, packed with AI so clever it could probably outwit a room full of tech geeks. This pint-sized robot stole the show at a conference with 25,000 attendees, over 1,000 sessions, and Jensen Huang dropping mind-blowing updates in his keynote. So, what's Blue doing hogging the spotlight amidst monster GPUs and quantum leaps? Let's dive into this adorable, futuristic gem. GTC 2025 was a beast. Picture the San Jose McHenry Convention Center buzzing with 25,000 tech heads while Jensen Huang took over the SAP Center on March 18th because the crowd was too massive for anywhere else. Over 2,000 speakers, nearly 400 exhibitors, and an energy that screamed the future's knocking. Then, mid-keynote, out toddles Blue, a tiny blue Star Wars vibing droid that had everyone gasping. <gasps> Built on NVIDIA's Isaac Groot N1 platform with a dash of Google DeepMind and Disney magic, yes, Disney, the folks behind BB-8, this little guy's here to show what robots can be. And honestly, it's impossible not to fall for him. So here's the hook that's got everyone buzzing. Why is a droid smaller than a toaster outshining billion-dollar tech? Because he's not just a toy. He's a glimpse into a world where robots might shimmy through our lives, vacuuming floors, delivering packages, or just being downright lovable. Jensen hoisted him up during the keynote, grinning like a proud dad, and said, this is where AI's headed. Picture Blue waddling across the stage, little legs pumping, beeping like he's got a tail to spin. It's not just cute, it's a hint of something massive. How does a little guy like him even pull this off? Let's break it down simple, like explaining it to someone who thinks AI is just a fancy calculator. Blue's powered by the Newton Physics Engine, a slick collab between NVIDIA, Google DeepMind, and Disney Research. It's like giving him a superpower to get how the world works. Gravity, balance, not face-planting into a wall. The Isaac Groot N1 platform is his brain, open source so anyone can tinker with it, letting him reason and adapt like a tiny robot toddler. But here's where it gets wild. Disney Imagineers threw in a twist. They used ducklings, Yep, ducklings, as inspiration, crafting animations like a Pixar flick for how Blue walks, jumps, or does this little shimmy that's so cute it's ridiculous. Now, Blue's not autonomous. He's got a human with a console telling him where to go. Imagine someone at GTC holding this controller going, okay, Blue, do a dance. His head swivels, his body sways, and then tantrum time. He stomps and shakes like an angry toddler, and the crowd eats it up. Tap the stick forward, and he waddles off, waving a tiny hello. But here's the kicker. The human says where, not how. How Blue responds. That shimmy, that tantrum, comes from his training. They didn't just teach him to walk from A to B. They taught him to be adorable doing it. How'd they pull that off? Reinforcement learning, but with a Disney twist. Normally, robots get a goal. Walk over uneven ground, don't fall. And they're rewarded for nailing it. Blue's different. They put a digital version of him in a simulation. Thousands of Blues stumbling, trying stuff out like a virtual playground. Most robots train for efficiency, but Blue's rewarded for sticking to those duckling-inspired animations. Walk from A to B, sure, but do it with style. Waddle like a duck, shimmy like a star. In those digital worlds, he gets way more reps than in real life without breaking a leg. Then they upload that training to the physical Blue, Test him with cute little harnesses, and boom, he's ready to charm the world with a little help. At first glance, it's tempting to scoff. NVIDIA's hyping the Blackwell Ultra GPU, 288 gigabytes of memory, dropping late 2025, and Vera Rubin chips for 2026, with Rubin Ultra in 2027, and Feynman in 2028. Heavy hitting stuff. So why fuss with a toy droid? Because Blue's no toy. He's a demo of physical AI, NVIDIA's vision for AI that moves, not just thinks. Robots in factories, hospitals, maybe your living room. Blue's the proof of concept for this $50 trillion dream. And that cuteness? 
It's not an accident. It's design. Specific choices in how he walks, how he shimmies. Making him less Terminator, more Wally. Here's a personal spin. Imagine calling a sci-fi obsessed sister named Mia. Mia, there's this droid at GTC doing tantrums and vacuuming. She'd laugh. Cleo, that's Wally, meets a Pixar short. Picture her cluttered apartment, pizza boxes everywhere, and asking, could Blue clean that? She'd snort, give it a few years, maybe he'll shimmy the mess away. That's GTC's vibe, hopeful, futuristic, a little bonkers. They had Blue rolling around the convention floor, dodging feet, vacuuming crumbs, not perfectly, leaving a dust trail, but enough to spark dreams. Zoom out, GTC 2025 wasn't just Blue's stage. NVIDIA unleashed a tech storm, Blackwell Ultra's 40 times faster than the hopper chip. DGX personal supercomputers, Spark and Station, powered by Grace Blackwell, built with Dell, Lenovo, HP. Networking chips like Spectrum X and Quantum X, using silicon photonics to link millions of GPUs, cutting energy use by 3.5 times, boosting signals by 63 times. A General Motors deal, AI for cars, factories, robots, self-driving Cadillacs, anyone? But every time those stats hit, the mind drifts back to blue, beeping his way into the heart of it all. There's this keynote moment. Jensen's holding blue up, crowd cheering, blue beeping. You're smart. Okay. All right. Well, have a great GTC. Thank you. Jensen says, this is the future of robotics. It's not just tech, it's a story. NVIDIA's got the power for AI factories. Now they're giving it legs. They're even teaming with the UK for Isambard AI, a supercomputer with 5,448 gigahertz, 200 superchips, pumping 21 exaflops to boost compute 30 times by 2030. Big stakes, but Blue's the little guy who makes it feel human. Digging into Blue's magic, the Isaac Groot N1 is open source, so coders worldwide can play with it. Startups, hobbyists, that cousin soldering in his garage, they can build their own blues. The Newton engine simulates physics live. Blue dodges a stray water bottle on stage, legs flailing but making it. His training's dual purpose, don't fall, but be cute about it. That's the Disney touch, hiding tech behind character. Imagineers say they don't want you to see robotics, they want you to love a little buddy and feel something. And yeah, it's hard not to. The twist, Blue's just the start. NVIDIA's betting physical AI's the next frontier, and they're sharing the tools. Picture next year, Blue 2.0. Delivering mail, shimmying packages to your door, or a squad fixing traffic. Maybe he syncs with that GM deal, driving a tiny AI truck with groceries. Wild, right? But hopeful. Robots might not just work, they could charm us, make us want them around. That dual goal training, don't fall, be cute, makes it tougher, sure, but way more fun. GTC threw in more. Quantum Day, diving into quantum computing with a new Boston lab. Healthcare's Evo 2 crunches 9 trillion nucleotides for breakthroughs. Cool stuff, but Blue keeps stealing focus. He's not doing laundry or factory shifts. His job's cutting edge in a different way. In a robot-filled future, how we feel about them matters. Cute beats, scary every time, and Blue's got that locked down. Imagine Blue beyond GTC, handing tools in a factory, wheeling supplies in a hospital, or chasing a cat at home. Maybe he's helping a kid with homework, shimmying through math problems. Silly, but rooted in NVIDIA's push. Jensen said, A is not just power, it's connection. Blue's that connection a bridge from circuits to life. Wrapping up, GTC 2025 was a blast, and Blue's the takeaway. He's small, blue, proof we're on the edge of something huge. Picture him vacuuming while someone sips coffee or rolling through a park for fun. A world where AI lives with us. NVIDIA's all in, open platforms, big partnerships, a roadmap to 2028 with Feynman chips. But Blue's the soul, the what if that lingers. Hit subscribe if you're vibing, and picture Blue beeping into tomorrow, one shimmy at a time.